Alright, and hey guys, welcome back to The Black Mia Chapter 5! Yes! Ah, oh, god. I was all bummed! Alright, Chapter 5. What the hell just happened? Everyone's dead! I swear! Oh, and they fixed the, the ceiling light, so that was cool. Um. Yeah, oh, because. Oh. Wait. Why is my name. James wrote my name on the wall. Why did he do it? No crap. What? What the. Samuel. Why did he write my name? Oh, it's. He probably thinks I turned him in. Which I didn't. It just. Ah. Uh. I told you that that wire was bad for hanging people. <sighs> At least he died quickly. At least he. Oh. I recognize that tag, Robert's keys. Why is he got Robert's keys? Oh, he probably took him off him when he died. All right. I don't see another symbol. That's good. So, this is not by the curse. But I still feel so bad. I have to examine the cell thoroughly. I right, can't sorry. leave now. Alright, sorry, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. What did I not get? Oh, come on. Faucet. It could use fixing. It's leaking. That's my problem? I'm gonna have to fix the faucet? My friend's messaging me. It could use fixing. It's leaking. Alright. As though I've... It could... It's leaking. What have I got? No? Alright. I don't have a lot of other options. Oh! Got it! Someone has plastered over it. I'll try to get the plaster off. I was a little confused at first. It was like, what? Damn, the blade cracked. No! That, that tool's been very useful for a long time. Ralph, can you hear me? Yes, I, I can, Samuel. Mm. Uh, have you come to visit me? Or have you come to visit James? James? Mm -hmm. James is no longer here, Ralph. Why are you saying that? James is here with me. He's always here with, with me. I can hear his voice. He wouldn't leave me alone here. I need to ask you about something that I'm a little creeped out by that. Really, I yeah. am. Me and Mr. Bobby will help you. All right, let's talk to games. Ralph, when did you last speak with James? Do you remember? Yes, Samuel. What did he say? Did he talk about why he escaped? M maybe, but he was so terrified and was saying such a lot. He was very confused by it all. He kept s saying that he hadn't killed him. That's what he was saying. He didn't Robert. kill Robert? Yes, him. What else did he say? He said he knew who killed him. That he knew. The name. Can you remember the name of the person he was talking about? No, no. I was confused. He ah. told me he's saying goodbye and that we would not see each other again. He didn't want to be put in his room again. No. Ralph, please, try to remember who James was speaking about. I don't know. I really don't. He wouldn't speak then. There was a long silence. I don't like such silence. No one would. All right, Ralph. I have to leave now. Okay, Samuel. Mr. Bobby says, okay. Ralph was the last one to speak to James. 
but I probably won't be able to get much more out of him. What are you doing here? I'm investigating. Get out immediately. You have no business being in here. Yes, I do. I set off for the old lighthouse on the sharp edge cliffs. Oh no! The only possible place where I can find out something about Robert's death. Mm -hmm. So here's where they found Robert's body. All right. It's too dark. I can't see anything in there. I'm just gonna get that later. <gasps> no! Not another one! Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have found the next symbol. Another symbol. I should make a picture of this one, too. Oh. That one's really Damn. longer. Robert's death is, uh, this is the curse. We've got four symbols now. Wait, hold on. What about Herman? I remember the dream, oh my god. There's nothing more to be found out here. Yeah. I'll go to the mall. Herman may know something new. Come on. Gotta get in there. Gotta, oh my god. He probably didn't hear the bell. I'll try again. Oh. It's because he's... Oh, my dream is true. It's he's probably... Answering. Dead too. Change. I thought he'd be in her. <laughs> it's open. I'll have a look around. Oh, God. I don't want. Oh, my God. If Robert's death had a symbol. Where could Herman be? He left the door open and the morgue, too. Strange. I don't want to look, but I have to! Yep! Oh! No! Yeah, I'd rather do the same thing too. But at least I washed up. That was, that was smart of me to do. What could have happened here? A lot! Alright, let's see now. Oh... Head. Oh my god. Ah. That expression in his eyes. What awful. Oh. Oh god. Alright, I've had enough. Let's check out his body. Who could have killed him? And why? He's clasping something in his hand. The fingers have stiffened and cannot be opened in their post-mortem spasm. Alright, I'll need like pliers or something. Let's see now. I'll turn on the lamp. It's quite mm. dark in here. Wait, drawer. There we go. There are a few plastic bags under the book. I'll take them. I guess? Forceps, that's what I need. Okay. There is nothing in them. But I'll take them. I thought I did. Guess I didn't. Is this what I think it is? Yes! But we already knew that. Duh. Alright. So. Alright. Let's see now. <gasps> no! Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, we have Satanic Bingo. One, two, three, four, five. Ding, 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 ding. Oh my god. <sighs> Here we go. Let's just write it down, too. Got it. Whoa! 
Whoa! That, yeah, that's satanic. That's not pretty. Oh my god! Or, oh my un god. Oh my god! Mordred! And that was now! I gotta be careful. Mordred can be coming back. Oh my god. Mm, gotta see the... Click, 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 come on. One, two, three, four, five. The conversion of five souls and Mordred would come back. So our five victims is William, but I wasn't there for that. So it, can't, it has to be someone in this village. William died. Um, Henry was the second victim. Vic was the third victim. Robert was the fourth victim, maybe? Same time as Herman. At least in the, the process that they came in. All right. So that's it. Let's get back to there. Forceps. That was not gonna be pretty. Forceps should do the trick. Oh, I just broke his hand open. Hair. That must be the hair of the murderer. I have to put it into some. Okay. Here we go. The murderer has black hair. Hmm. James's hair was black as coal. I should go back to the sanatorium and obtain a sample for comparison. All right. Someone's ringing the doorbell. I'd better leave quickly. Detective? Hard Mr. to answer this one. What are you doing here? I've come to see Dr. Herman and... Uh, I know what it probably looks like, but I'll explain everything. What are you talking about, Gordon? I don't know how to say this. I found Herman downstairs. He's dead. What? I went downstairs and found his body on the table. That is a serious matter. Are you sure? Yeah! I know what I have seen, Detective. His body is lying on the autopsy table. With the head off. With the head off? Yes. Yeah. Go there right away. Listen, Gordon, when you found him, were you alone? Was no one else with you? No one. Strange how coincidence tends to lead you to a corpse. Yeah. He was already dead when I came around. I believe you. I know oh. who is behind all of this. You do? Really? Who? That lunatic who escaped from Ashbury a few days ago. Who else? Who else could possibly have committed such things? You remember that boy? And now, Herman. Disfigured. A normal person cannot have done that. That's certainly true, but he hung himself in his cell. I was in the sanatorium today. Mm -hmm. So, the murderers punished himself. Mm. Mm. Oh well, it's justice, I say. Well, well, you haven't got any evidence. Gordon, there are several disfigured corpses and a madman was on the loose. You want more evidence? A little bit, maybe. No, thanks. Okay. Good that you told me about him, Gordon. Now please leave. I've got to go downstairs and deal with this. Goodbye. Goodbye, Detective. Why would James want to kill Herman? He didn't even know him. I've got to get a hold of a sample of James's hair somehow and compare it with the chunk that Herman was clasping in his hand in his post-mortem spasm. Let's try. Oh. Samuel, Samuel Gordon, Gordon. Please, please let, let me, in. me in. Just one second. Thank you. I wonder if I've annoyed this nurse so much. <laughs>
may I speak with you? Sure. Let's see. Listen, I need to know something. Where is James's body? Excuse me? Don't ask. Just tell me where it is. Well, all right. If you must know. Yes. We cannot get hold of Dr. Herman. I don't know what is going on. He um. is the body in the old chapel in the graveyard until he arrives. It cannot stay much longer, though. It has to go to the morgue. <sighs> That's There's a little com thanks. That's a little complication. But I've got Robert's keys. I could probably go back there. Can't believe I'm about to go back there. Uh, do I really want to go back to the graveyard? God, that thing, that lightning got me. And really investigate a corpse. Hi, how's it going? Don't mind me, I mean, I just sedated you secretly, so maybe you won't get mad at me. Mind your own business. I've got no time for you. The boiler man probably would not like it. Probably not, but whatever. I need to say, this has got no time for me, so I'm just gonna move on. To the chapel. The chapel is locked. But I've got Robert's keys. Never mind. I haven't got time. Can you tell me, why is that chapel in the graveyard locked? The old chapel? I'll tell you why. It's because locked. Because nobody has any business going in it. Can well, you open it for me? No, I couldn't. Why? Nobody is allowed to go there, like I said. I need more syringe. You key to it, right? Exactly. Thank you. And it's going to stay that way. I have to get into that chapel at all costs. How could I possibly obtain the key? How about you lend me your key? I'll return it in a little while. You could watch my wallet for me in the meantime. Will it work? <laughs> well, a little extra added to that lousy <sighs> salary of mine would come handy. So, what do you say? No. Oh, it's not come possible. on! I can't do it. The head nurse would really enjoy the chance to fry my backside. I can't risk somebody finding out. Too bad. I'll keep the wallet to myself then. I won't be keeping you any longer. Can I once make a bribe that will actually work? That would be kind of nice. Ugh. So, now what? Alright. Gotta be able to get away to get back in there. Oh, I just kept walking. I was a little scared for a second. Nothing here, alright. Can I actually go back to the main area? Can I sneak in this way? Ooh, I can. This is the only way to get inside the sanatorium. I have no choice. Eh. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I forgot. They, I was just thinking, like, they removed the body. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know that. Do I want to talk to... Well, let's just see. I don't know what we could talk about. Hmm, fair point. Let's see now. I must be quiet so I won't get caught this time. I wouldn't have any explanation. Exactly. So let's save. <laughs> I don't feel like I can cut. Chapter 5 new. Oh, at least the doctor's not there. I'm lucky. There's no one here. I've got to take advantage of that before somebody comes. Yeah. Alright. End of the boiler room.
How do I obtain the keys to that chapel? I'll hmm. have a look around here. I've got to come up with something. Exactly. Rag. Rags are always nice. Locker. Too bad. No spare keys. Just an old pair of rubber boots. Personal stuff. I'll leave it as it. So much for leaving it as it is. I just took the rubber boots. Maybe I can burn them to distract them. The door of the boiler is very hot. Oh, I got a rag. I should dampen it first. I don't. Oh, do I? Oh, uh, there's only one place I know I can do that. I rather not, but. Ugh. There's only one place I know in this entire place I could probably get water, and it's not the most sanitary way. I know that fountain's not working. Uh... Oh, good. I thought I had a stick in the toilet. There we go. Okay, a lot better. Da -da -da -da. Let's go burn, burn some boots. Trust me. I bet a lot of boot blacks would probably hate me for this. The smoke from the rubber would go out through the chimney. That wouldn't help. So, what do I do? Guess so. This should attract some attention. Now, I've got to get going. All right. I can do this, I guess. This way, I'm under the bed. Ugh, I swear. Whoa! Maybe I went a bit too far with those boots. I guess Hopefully so. Hopefully none of the smoke has gotten into the building. One cannot breathe and it's going to take a while before the boiler room is aired out completely. It's quite smoky. So, go back? Maybe I went a bit too. Hopefully, none of us. What? Dang it! Let me grab something. I don't know. All right. He left the keys in the lock. Ah! Should have saw that sooner. Didn't think of it that way, but hey, I got the keys. Whether I know what I was doing or not. Oh, my neck. Oh, wait. Hold on. Get the keys. James's body. I need a little hair for comparison with the sample that Herman was clasping in his hand. I need to use something to cut off a little. I don't want to touch it with my hands. Um. I need to. I don't want to touch. What do I do then? Seriously, you're not gonna tell me how to. Do oh god.
shards. No. A broken glass. Should work. There we go. Okay, this should do. Where could I have a close look at it? Hmm. Well, maybe just. just. I'll go back to the mall and use Herman's microscope. Really, a safe idea? Oh, I guess so. Did he even like just take the idea that maybe I had a stick butt? Nope, just I'm there. There we go. It's quartz. <sighs> Let's see now. Set up properly now. I can use it. Okay. It's set up. Okay, oh. James is here. The hair of the murderer. And? The samples differ. Even I can see that. Ah. It wasn't James who killed Herman. But who was it then? Who's got a black? Morris. Oh, we didn't think of Morris. Okay. Time to jump. Worldly jump. Oh, wait. I came right to the front gate. Let's, okay, let's hop next door. It kind of does look like night. Is this supposed to be day? Weird. Morris isn't here. Where could he have gone? Oh, uh, that doesn't help. Where could he go? Wait. A letter. Strange things have been happening around here. It all began a few days after the funeral of old Mr. Gordon, when his Mr. heir Samuel Gordon. returned to the his manor. heir Samuel returned to the manor. I haven't got a clue as to what's going on, but when somebody finds this note, I'll be far away already. It seems to me that that detective wants to frame me for Henry's murder, so I won't be hanging around. I'm going to go while there's still time. Feel free to keep my last month's wage. And don't bother looking for me. I won't be returning. Well, dang. Morris. Bye, Morris. Morris has run away. I knew he couldn't be trusted. What if it was he who committed the murders? All right. Hmm. Switch. A cap. Morris's cap. <gasps> I bet there's a hair sample in there. Oh my god, that's probably gonna help. I found a little hair. Maybe this sample will match the... A single hair. That's all I need, a single hair. Alright. Back to Herman's house. Oh, I was kind of hoping he would just drag me, like, right there, like, phew, you're there. Alright. Come on, why is my wallet up in the corner? I just noticed that. Am I rich? No? No. Morris isn't the murderer I'm looking for. Ah! Isn't him. Then who? Okay. Little weird glitch. My wallet appears in the corner. Oh, well, alright. Well, now what? You know, I did say before, I needed to probably go into Robert's study. That would probably help a little bit. And I still gotta find those keys. Before I can even go down to the chapel. Hmm. 
<laughs> let's see what Henry. Let's see what Robert. Oh, nice. Study. I feel as though he were watching me even now. Probably. I mean, he's not didn't die the most peaceful way. However, however he died. I mean, we didn't get to see, unlike to everybody else. Study of the human brain. Hmm. Mm. Sounds like him. Book. Robert has left this one opened. He won't be able to finish it now. Yeah, not really. Sofa. I'm tired, but I won't rest yet. Smell table. Hmm. Anatomy. A little key was hidden there. Interesting. It's got a, there's a lot of keys in here. Some medicine. I'd better leave it alone. Yeah, you don't want him to get mad there's at you. There's a solution of a distinct color in some of the tubes. Maybe this is what Robert was working on all the time. The liquid in the tube smells very bad. It, that one's locked. It that one's locked. Open. It looks like a security code. Okay. There's nothing else there. Just papers and a book. It's yeah, I locked. know it's locked. <sighs> Sophie, Robert's wife. She left him many years ago. Oh. I feel bad for the dude. All right. Another key. Who's the man in the picture? I've never seen his face before. I have to find his place in the past and obtain his key. Huh. It's, I think, yellow? Sorry, this music. I've got a white, red, green, and that's yellow. So, after that, it could be blue. They're taught according to the five elements. Water, fire, earth, air, and spirit. Spirit is white, fire is red, earth is green, air is yellow, and water is blue. I mean, well, I mean, I'm not sure. Assorted medical liter medical volume. There's no point in skimming through these. Most of them are in Latin. Why is everyone here no Latin? It sheds a strange... It sheds... Sheds a it sheds, it sheds a, strange a strange green, green light. light. Ah! Exactly twelve. It probably doesn't <laughs> work. Uh. Oh, hello. How goes it? So let's see. I got it. A code of some sort. Strange. There's no writing on it. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Wait. I wonder. I knew it. Ah, uh, it's one of those trick things. The light wouldn't be important if it didn't highlight red. Six. Three, Three, zero, oh, eight, eight, one. one. I need to write this down. Uh, it's a good thing I've just got spare things all. It's a good thing I've got a notebook and a sharpie, which I really shouldn't use, but I'll just write it really carefully. Six, three, zero, eight, one. Okay, that should help. So let's see. Six, three, zero, eight, one. And uh, like I really got an idea like that could be. Um hmm. Okay, well, I've got no idea what that means. MCXX is a year prior to building the foundation of the castle. 
Really? 11.20? Wait, hold on. Yeah, and by the way, I do know Roman numerals very fast. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, wait, 11, 5, 10, 15. Really? Ah, uh, that was kind of well, actually, kind of well hidden. Very well A hidden. Bookcase. Robot had more secrets than anyone would have suspected. Well, he was a psycho. What did you expect? The curse. Oh, I wonder if the curse implemented multiple people. That would have been kind of interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. That's easy. Six. Three. Zero. Eight. One. Easy. This is the right combination. Got it. Oh, what is our prizes? It must be very old. Dear Samuel, it was not easy for me. To oh, this is the this is the letter from the beginning of the game. Lines that Why does Robert have it? Reading, as well as it was not easy to find out where you were living. I hope that my letter will reach your hands as soon as possible, as there is not much time left. Since your departure, I have contributed all my efforts and endless hours of sleepless nights looking for the truth about our family. I feel that I am already very close to beholding its full face, and I am concerned that I might not have the strength to look at it alone. Therefore, I am turning to you, Samuel. For I know that you will hear out my plea. In this envelope, you will find the ancient ring of our heritage. It is very important that you always have it with you. Take extraordinary care of it. I will explain everything when you arrive. Please return to our manor and help me. I know my time is closing in. I can feel it. I am afraid. William knew something, but now there's no way to find out what. Maybe I could have helped him if I had received the letter on time. I hope you're frying in hell. Can you hear me, Robert? Probably not. Well, he probably is in hell. I mean, he was, I think, sacrificed towards a ritual, so maybe he is in hell. But Robert did it. You know, I bet the curse implemented different people. Ah. That's probably why how everyone died. Robert prob- <gasps> I know. The curse got what infected Robert. And he pushed. Um. Um, what is the what is the term? The curse probably got Robert first, and he pushed um William out the window, making the first sacrifice. And then and then Robert also killed um Henry. And maybe Vic too, and but when it comes to the other two murders, I'm not very sure. Because I think he had gray hair. It's a 3.5 millimeter. More two. Robert's diary. Ooh, long read. Here we go. May second. Tomorrow I will visit Doctor Herman in the morgue. If he understands what I wrote to him in my letters, it shouldn't be too hard to convince him. I think he's my man. May 3. The visit to Herman fulfilled my expectations. Our secret agreement will make further progress in my research much easier. It did not take much effort to convince him to cooperate, just as I expected. Herman understands that science and research of novel concepts sometimes demands sacrifices. He agreed to take care of the first delivery tomorrow already, which suits my plans perfectly. If it were not for him, I do not know how it would be possible for me to keep on disposing of those damn bodies. Making a few corpses disappear without a trace certainly will not be a problem for him as a pathologist. Last, I can resume work on the tests. May 8th. 
Previous tests were no use, and several months of work turned out completely futile. God's sake, where could I have made a mistake? Where? Calculated all the components almost a thousand times, and just haven't a clue as to what could be wrong. It's starting to make me tired. It's taking much too long. And with every new day, I'm afraid that someone will find out. It is with great luck that I convinced Herman to cooperate at the right moment. Either I improve the composition of the substance, or raise doses as they are. Otherwise, I cannot proceed further. Yes, that's it. The composition is correct. I merely require to raise the dosage. Yes, could have started sooner with them. Oh. I will raise the concentration by a hundred percent. May 9. Administered the higher concentrate to two subjects. I have to wait several days before I can make accurate measurements. At least I can now take a rest from all the figures and calculations. May 12. I thought I would not have to take any notes for the next few days. But I had a word with James today. He was acting differently than usual and spoke about things that must never come to light. He knows too much about the methods of my research and can expose me. And worse, they would believe him. Do not know what to do now. Locked in that cell of his, he's trying to corner me. How ironic. Never before have I considered direct violence. But he is a threat to all my efforts and everything that I have achieved. May 13. Things are apparently worse than I thought. The head nurse spoke to James, and she herself suggested to me that we should release him for some time. It was quite an effort to convince her that James must stay where he is because of his condition. I have no clue what he told her to make her believe him, but I'm afraid he may tell her everything next time. Must not happen. He is not the fool I thought he was. I have to get rid of him somehow. May 15. Everything I once held firm in my hands is beginning to crumble and fall like a house of cards. Higher doses have had no effect. I verified all the measures, twice. I do not know how to continue. The whole affair with James refuses resolution. He must never be allowed to return to Black Mirror. Do what has to be done. There is only one possibility left. Only one solution. I will dispense with the calculations and raise the ratio of the effective substance by another hundred percent. I know whose veins I will inject the serum into this time. Herman helped Robert hide the results of his experiments. The bodies of the patients would end up in his morgue and no one was to find out. Oh my god! Okay. That's a lot. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we found out Robert is a psycho. But for till then, we are going to conclude this for right now. This is awesome for the beginning of this part. I will talk to you guys later, and oh, this is gonna be, uh. I need more of a drink. Give me some of that Coke. La. Coke la. I will talk to you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoy yourself. There's more to figure out in this story. Oh my god. Until then, guys, I will talk to you soon. May you be free to be who you are and wherever you go. Until next time. Cheers. <laughs>